Hi everyone. So I am Dr. Zainab Bora, and today I'm very, very happy to have a very dear student of mine, Dr. Gitanjali, who's done amazingly well in INICT November 23 and secured a rank of 252. So uh, very proud of you, Gitanjali. And and when I saw you in the offline class, I knew that this girl is going to do very well, and I'm so happy. Uh, you know that that was indeed the case. Uh, so tell me, uh, how are you feeling first of all, and how has the journey been? thank you so much ma'am and whatever i could have done is just because of you and i literally have no words to express my deepest gratitude to you and all my mentors in that in this case because ma'am you were the reason where was the reason that i stood up again because i was very very you know demotivated after my neat pg results and then ma'am your video was the first one which i saw on the very on that day and then the next day i started preparing for ims at may yeah. and then i watched all your unacademy videos all your ma'am i did the cerebellum btr then only like it yeah. it got launched on 20th april i started from that and i did that btr before the ims at may with all your live classes all the mega btr sessions that you had yeah and then i got ma'am i got a rank of third around 30k in uh, in neat pg 2023 and mm-hmm. then i got a rank of around 10k in ins at me mm. so that was like a really booster for me that yeah i can do this and mm. then also with the support of my family i could you know have that belief that is what is more important that you you have to believe that you can do yeah amazing so i think it's very inspirational for a lot of students who are watching now who may have gotten a 10k rank in ini november you know and they are down in the dumps feeling that probably you know they might improve to 5000 maybe 2000 in need but you are a, a living example showing them that it's possible to get a three digit rank in an exam like inict so anything is possible you know but for that you have to stand up and decide that this is not what has defined me you know i am going to change my fate and that is exactly what you have done and i am so so proud of you so if if we can talk about the specifics you know so after me i and i rank was announced after that what were your six months like how would you study on a day to day basis what were the sources how would you practice mcq so you know your entire day to day schedule if you can tell the students i am sure it would help ma'am first of all i am a very non conventional reader like i am a early bird so mm-hmm. i used to divide my day into three or four slots like mm-hmm. early morning my main target was to complete you know mm-hmm. the main targets which were set the subjects yeah. and then after day ma'am from the very first day i knew this that i have to revise other i otherwise i'll forget everything yeah. so ma'am the last you know last hours of the day my day ended at 10 pm mm-hmm. so yeah the last hours of the day were dedicated to total revision and mcq practice so mam in the morning i used to do the slots which you have given and then in the middle part of the day which was that was of my own i yeah. had i used to work on my week topics when i you know when i was watching your videos and i was like ki these questions or this set of topic is my weakest yeah. so i used to go back to my rr videos or my main notes to mm-hmm. watch those things which i was lacking because i knew that i can easily get 120 questions from the btr but yeah mm-hmm. ma'am i started this before bonus btr as well so when bonus btr happened i did not have to do anything or ma'am in some part it helped me because there was a base and then you just gave me that you have to remember this only from the main video as well i still remember the ofta btr bonus btr and everybody was like what ma'am is talking about and then i had that confidence you know i know this topic wow mm-hmm. ma'am has converted that long video into a very small 5 to 10 minutes ka session so yeah that helped me mm-hmm. and then i used to revise every day like every day i used to revise the segment active recall ma'am is a game changer first first of all i would really like to put this out that you don't know how to do active recall no? but when i got your you know on uh, the unannotated pdf i used to annotate on my own ki okay ma'am said these words i also used to write what you said because it's very very important like a lot of people are you know very happy that they have got the annotated pdf and everything of btr but it is actually what you say comes in paper like it has to you know roll in your mind ki okay ma'am ne aisa kaha tha and ye aise present hua in questions 
so ma'am and when i did your videos it was like each time you have to improve and then you have to realize okay ye five segments mein se hmm. ma'am ne padhaya tha but i could not interpret yeah मास्टर करो एंड उसके ऊपर सप्लीमेंट करते जाओ एंड दैट इज ब्यूटिफुली Uh, you know demonstrated by how how you actually said and 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 even the bifurcation of the day that you mentioned is something that a lot of students should learn from that you divide your efficiency areas efficiency zones and when it's your low efficiency zone then you revise you do mcqs which you did on a on a very consistent basis right and and that yeah. is what is really important that you do everything you you took took care of the content and and, and the mcq solving as well so so that's that's amazing and uh, how did you use offline bt are uh, just you know for for a lot of students who are curious ki kaise best utilize karna hai yeah ma'am first of all i was very confused whether to join because mm-hmm. i was already having an yeah. online subscription and everything but it was like it is a matter of 3 days and what i did was i made sure that i revise all the bonus btrs and the btrs before coming to the class mm-hmm. and during those 3 days i literally enjoyed i never felt that I am studying something. It was like a vacation for me, where you go every day and then you revise. So yeah. it was a kind of a booster that you have done your nineteen subjects in yeah. three days. So I would really, you know, put it out that if you are doing BTR from Ma'am and Bonus BTR, then you should you should do offline as well because it will give you a boost. That yeah, I have done nineteen subjects and it is all fresh in my mind. And then when you come back home, then you only have to revise. You know the parts which are you you are weaker at. Maybe you could not do the active recall or the parts which were left out because obviously you can't complete like a sixty hour thing in three days. So. nice so you you completely did an active recall right i i yeah. remember you you were sitting in the fr- front row and you were not making notes you were actually saying things out with me i i i vividly remember that so so amazing i think you utilized everything how it was meant to be and i i couldn't be you know any more proud of that fact so so thank you so much for for sharing so much of uh, uh, this with me and also you know uh, if you want to give a shout out to your friends to the faculty other uh, faculty of cerebellum academy i'm sure you have you know utilized a lot of other resources as well yeah ma'am ma'am first of all i will really like to thank my parents because they believed in me more than i did and on days when you when you feel you can't do then you see their faces and then it's like you have to do it so my parents my family my siblings and also my friends ma'am i used to you know check every day with my friend or maybe every week because she got busy that whether i'm doing it right or wrong that question mark should not come because she had scored a very good marks in neat pg 23 yeah. so yeah ma'am so she also told me i ma'am i will tell this later on as well regarding choti copy mm-hmm. but i really want to say that when you are doing choti copy revision mm-hmm. it is very important to leave out those topics which you have mastered because mm-hmm. sometimes it happens that we try to read again and again those topics which we know so yeah. for example the first page of my choti copy was the nerve injuries from the orthopedics so whenever i used to open you try to open from the first page so then i used to cut mark those pages that i have mastered them so that i don't keep on doing that again and again so yeah. she told me this thing and i i followed that and it really helped me because it will burden it will burden you less that yes. yeah i have to do this also i have to do this also and ma'am uh, sports sir has been my mentor in my college days as well i have studied from him in second year and also i you know revisited his mission neat pg's video grg sir to ma'am he's the best Absolutely. and i cannot i have not texted him about this but yeah i have gotten all the pharmacology questions correct just because of him like when i was doing the uh, you know recall also i was like oh my god i've got all pharmacology questions correct and ma'am because you can you can never go to any person if you have studied from grg so i did his online offline class in 2018 i guess and then i also did his rr 
मैम वन थिंग ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ डूइंग इंटीग्रेटेड स्टडी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक द होल बी टी आर इज इंटीग्रेटेड एंड इट इट शुड बी डन इन दैट वे वेन आई वॉज ऑल्सो रिवाइजिंग फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेज एज वेल आई यूज टू डू इट फ्रॉम द इंटीग्रेटेड मैनर ओनली लाइक इफ आई एम स्टडिंग टूडे सी वी एस तो आई डू फिजियोलॉजी फ्रॉम सी वी एस दैन पेथोलॉजी फ्रॉम सी वी एस दैन फार्मोकोलॉजी दैन मेडिसिन एंड देन टू वाइंड इट अप ऑल आई डू यू नो द बी टी आर ऑफ सी वी एस सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू इंटीग्रेट एवरीथिंग सो आई यूज टू वॉच पार्ट बाय पार्ट ऑफ एवरी टीचर फ्रॉम जी फार्मा फ्रॉम जी आर जी पेथोलॉजी फ्रॉम स्पर्स सर एंड देन आई यूज टू क्लब इट ऑल एंड देन आई टू सी बी टी आर एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक इनफ नाउ आई नो इट देन आई डू एन सी क्यूज yeah that's amazing uh, see a lot of students want to do this actually uh, you know a lot of people buy into this concept but when they get to do it it feels very uh, tedious you know that okay ek subject khatam nahi ho raha you don't get that closure hmm. of the subject ki pharma ho gaya path ho gaya you keep uh, have to you know uh, going back and forth but i think it's worth it in the end the kind of conceptual clarity you will get is going to be worth it so again a very good point that you've mentioned is uh, about the integrated system which a lot of students actually find difficult you know to follow up with the conventional subjects and then to mm. integrate it as systems but if you do do that i think it it clearly shows in the results and and in your concepts also overall it does help uh, you know with the basics that's a, it's a very good point <laughs> um any anything else any final message you want to give to the students so uh, let's say there are students you know who have gotten an intermediate rank in iict and are now you know starting uh, for neat so so what would you have done in case you know you had to study for neat now what would you have done uh, from this point onwards ma'am first of all if you are a mid ranker then you lack in saying doing mcqs like it was one of my biggest fears i'll matlab i am not a right person to say this but when i was preparing for neat pg 23 i focused mainly on the content mm-hmm. i remembered all my notes but what i lagged was mcq practice and i was i used to fear from them but now when i did the ends with you ma'am it was like okay so i was thinking these two options what mm-hmm. did i think wrong yeah mm-hmm. what was that point the highlighter marked point which is very important which makes the difference yeah. so ends with you were the biggest boon for i think for everybody maybe but for me it was very very important and i also what i did was mam i used to take screenshots or maybe photographs of those questions which i really wanted to visit again and again so yeah they ha- i had a folder in my whatsapp group like ins at final which mm-hmm. was like the main it was like a buffered thing okay first final then second final then third yeah. final in which they had the questions which were to be vi- revisited again and again and it also helped in removing the pyq bias it was mm. very important ma'am it is actually now very important because everybody is doing pyqs and mm. pyts so it is very important that you remove that pyq bias because it will come to you that are yaar iska yahi answer hoga but it is not always the same case in ins it for sure like mm. you cannot say that this is the answer just because it was previously asked yeah. so that really help like if i would in a position to yeah you know study again which i i don't know why i really want to attend your classes like i am having a major fomo but <laughs> yeah that you have to diligently follow the ends you have to give the test you have to break that fomo ki i cannot do it i'll do it later or i'm not prepared well or whatever just give the test and then attend the discussion live mm-hmm. if you are doing it live and then if you are doing it on the same day it yeah. really helps like do it that point because then you'll know ki what wrong hmm. were you thinking like if you'll do two three weeks later then you'll not know ki what where are you lacking and then the final message is ma'am you have to believe and then you have to have a mindset of a ranker when i was you know watching ma'am i was watching you one thing which i learned and then one thing which i was very sure that i have to adapt is to have a mindset and that isolation of emotions like the mid rankers we usually have that i am a mid ranker only we usually have that emotional barrier which is stopping us that i cannot do it or maybe i can do it but these are there are lots of emotions which are coming in the way so you have to isolate yourself from emotions you have to cut yourself off social media that my friend is here he is working i am not and all of this it is 
it is affecting your mental health somewhere down the line you have to believe it like the social media accounts posting what others are doing like you know my sca- i'm not putting i'm not saying that you should not do it but yeah it really affects your mind so like stop doing it ki don't do if it affects you don't do it just you know isolate yourself from all the negative emotions now is the time to work hard and just give yourself 3 months and then you'll be happy Three years or maybe thirty three decades later. Absolutely. So yeah, absolutely amazing. So I think coming from VMMC where you've done your MBBS from, I think when you got the ranks that you did in NEET, your your self belief must have taken a big hit, you know. And and the biggest barrier is to is to rise from that. You know, you will be able to study. आप कर लोगे ये आपके around सबको पता है. Everybody knows that. Hmm. to yourself, your confidence has taken a big hit, and you start questioning that you know yeah. when. whether i will be able to do it or not and once you rise from that and this is for every student who is listening once you rise from that fact no matter what source you are doing you will do well you know just stop with that negativity and self doubt and just believe in yourself and give it your all after that you leave it to destiny you do your best every day like gitanjali here did give you know do all of the boxes you know you have so many strategy uh, you know videos nowadays and you know there yeah. are people to guide you which is actually a blessing and and sometimes a, uh, sometimes a boon also where people you know uh, get confused but but you know use any resource that you're doing utilize it to the 100% and you know you are going to do well and uh, you know it was such a nice uh, uh, conversation very enlightening for me also so thank you so much gitanjali and i am so again i am repeating i am so proud of you uh, that you know you have done so well and i i always wanted uh, when I I met you. I always wanted to take your interview, and uh, I'm I'm so glad that we got to do it uh, this time. Um, yeah. yeah. So so all the best, and I'm sure you're gonna make a great clinician. Um. Uh, so what what do you want to do now? Now I want to be a surgeon, maybe hmm. a gynec onco surgeon or yeah. like a breast onco surgeon. I mentioned that before. You you also, want to talk about that? That was something which really struck a chord with me. You want to talk about why you want to choose these branches? <laughs> yeah, uh, ma'am. So my main motive has yeah. always been to educate people. Like there are so many women, there are so many people out there with social media as well. That there is so much misinformation which is in the society right now, and the women in India really need someone to educate them about their bodies. you know the responsibility of carrying a child and then the phase of pregnancy and the postpartum phase which is very important so yeah maybe and also awareness about you know cervical cancer ovarian cancer and breast cancer also so i really want to do something for them that i may be able to educate them so yeah. that they can have you know a better healthcare so Amazing. that's that's one of the things which i have to do it in my life whether it is effective of my branch i will do it for sure maybe yeah great great so keep up the passion alive and and you know our country needs more people like you more women like you and uh, kudos long way to go and uh, really looking forward to what you're going to do in life all the very best thank you so much ma'am thank you